Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by BetDSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Today, I have the top 25 free agents the Raiders could target in 2019, so get yourself a cold one, sit tight, it's going to be a great show. I'm going to go offense, then I'm going to go defense, and I'm breaking it down by position. So let's start first with the offense, and... A little bit of a rough year last year for the Raiders. They ranked 28th in points per game with only 18.1 points scored. And they ranked 23rd in yards per game. And when I look at what the Raiders need, their biggest needs on offense, running back, wide receiver, offensive tackle, and tight end. So I'm going to give you some targets that the Raiders can target at these four positions. Because, well, three free agent running backs, a wide receiver that's led by Jordy Nelson, Tight end, Jared Cook, is he coming back? I'm not quite sure. And then, man, a lot, a lot of needs. Offensive tackle, the rookies, they struggled. So let's start first with the running back position. My top running back for the Raiders target, it's Le'Veon Bell. And Le'Veon Bell is, I think, a really interesting player because he is one of those bell cow running backs. And ESPN predicted Bell either to go to the Giant or the... 49ers, the Jets, or the Raiders. And they predicted around five years, 85 million with 50 million guaranteed. Now it's a lot, a lot of money, okay? But at the end of the day, Le'Veon Bell, one of the best running backs in the NFL. And he's shown that when he's been on the field because when he's been on the field, he has been an absolute workhorse. You want to talk about touches. Woo, a lot of touches, 406 in 2017. Now I had as many touches as he did in 2018, but we won't talk about that. 2016, 2014, this guy is a running back who you can count on to carry the ball and also be super reliable out of the backfield which I think is really important for the Raiders because again no running backs right now on the roster because they're all free agents now next running back that I really want the Raiders to target maybe my top one and it's Tevin Coleman why because I think it's fit a young running back who I think is hungry to get a good start and also just the monetary value. I don't think the Raiders are going to have to go out and spend big on Tevin Coleman. And when you look at what he did in 2018, 4.8 yards per carry, 800 rushing yards, 167 carries. Yes, he split time with Devonta Freeman, but I'm telling you right now, Tevin Coleman at age 26, he's a really good running back. Now, new faces or old faces may be coming back, and it's Latavius Murray. Hey, Latavius Murray was a pretty productive running back for the Raiders, and he was even pretty solid for the Vikings. Now, sure, this past year wasn't his best year with the Vikings, but again, the Vikings uh, did not have that great of a year. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> He's going to be 28 years old, and I think it's a reliable or like a face that the the Raiders can kind of rely on a little bit. Again, Latavius, when he was there, he was okay, right? And at the end of the day, if we can get a running back who's at least okay to kind of maybe be that bridge gap, I mean, if you ask me, I want the Raiders to target Daryl Henderson in the draft, but hey, what do I know, right? But again, Latavius Murray is an option I think the Raiders can target at the running back position. So I gave you three running backs, okay? And I want to know from you, who's the best running back for the Raiders? I want you to type B for Bell, C for Coleman, or M for Murray. I'm going to type my C for Coleman because I think Tevin Coleman, in terms of talent and price, would be a great fit for the Raiders in 2019. Let's go on now to the wide receivers because guess what? This is the Raiders' biggest need on offense, Golden Tate, I love me some golden tape, and the Eagles are unlikely to resign him, and that is perfectly okay with me. A great after-the-catch receiver in the slot, which, hey, you want to say Derek Carr is a dink and dunk quarterback, which, guess what? Sometimes he is, but I think he also had to do that because his offensive line wasn't protecting him. You insert golden tape into this offense, I think it's pretty interesting. I think he's going to be able to pick it up right away. 113 targets last year, 795 yards. Also, was not a very good fit with the Eagles. Don't watch his Eagles tape. Watch his Detroit Lions tape. My next wide receiver that I want the Raiders to target, Tyrell Williams. 6'4", 205 pounds. This boy can move, okay? And at the end of the day, Mike Mayock wants to add speed. Guess what? Tyrell Williams is going to be able to be a field stretcher, and he kind of gets overshadowed with Melvin Gordon. He kind of gets overshadowed with Keenan Allen and some of these other pieces that the Chargers have. You insert Tyrell Williams, a young receiver who's built like a wide receiver one. He's built like it, but again, he wasn't getting the target share. Only 65 targets for Tyrell this past season in a Chargers offense. Now let's do a nice little recap of my top free agent targets here on offense. I got Le'Veon Bell, Tevin Coleman, Latavius Murray, Golden Tate, Tyrell Williams. I want to know from you. Hit me up on IG or Twitter, MHRN365, which one of those five you like the most. All right, let's keep going in now to my more some more wide receivers, as I say that really weird. Sorry about that. John Brown, okay? I like John Brown. I've talked about John Brown numerous times on my Raiders show because Mayock has stated he wants to add speed, and as long as John Brown's healthy and he says that his sickle cell isn't affecting his health, I'm going to believe him because what I saw this past year for the Ravens, when he was on the field, 
he was pretty good. And that was with Lamar Jackson, who can barely throw the ball. And it's also with, you know, other receivers' options like or like Joe Flacco, who, let's be honest, he just got traded. But I think when you just overall look at what John Brown could add to this team, he might not fill up the stat sheet. However, he could be one of those reliable receivers that Derek Carr could count on down the field because, let's be real, Derek Carr needs an option where they can stretch out the field, maybe open up a few running lanes for these running backs, and again, just you got to give cornerbacks something to fear a little bit or else, guess what, it's going to lead to a dink and dunk offense. So, which wide receiver should the Raiders target or sign in free agency? I want to know from you because this show isn't about me. It's about everybody who's watching. And speaking of everybody who's watching, I am blown away by how far of a widespread that Raider Nation is. So I asked everybody in the comments section on youtube.com slash Raiders Report, where are y'all from? Like, what city are you guys watching this in? As Tex, I had no idea. From Hamburg, Germany. A little fun fact about me. My family is from Hamburg. But again, I need a picture of you. If you don't give me a picture, guess what? I'm going to Google one. Is this you? I'm not sure. You got a Baltimore Orioles hat on, it looks like. You're maybe 17, maybe pushing puberty. But then again, I'm 25. Going to be 26 in a few days. Just a hint, hint there. Just saying. All right, next one's coming in is from Jerome Gearhart. Raiders shout out from San Antonio. Holla at your boy, Mitch. Well, my man, we're in Dallas. You want to grab a beer? Come up here. Let me know. Next one's coming in. What city do you live in? David. What's up, my man? David's from Paris, France. Bonjour. Bonjour to you. And, uh... Again, no picture, but I love seeing Hamburg, Germany, Paris, France. Man, we are everywhere. So, again, no picture. Guess what? Had to look one up for you. Is this you? I like the tie. I'm all about the suit and the tie. Is that a Miz in a main shirt? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. 2020 vision, though. You got the glasses on. I'm all about it. Guys, make sure you guys subscribe below to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report if you want to get on the show, the number one Raiders channel on YouTube. And remember, turn on those notifications because I'm taking questions and I'm taking answers from the first people who comment below. And if you don't want to know how to turn on notification, it's the thing that looks like a bell. Okay? Le'Veon Bell, turn on your bell. Next one coming in here from my Raiders top free agent targets. We're going to the offensive tackle position. I'm looking at Juwan James. And... I think when I look at Juwan James, he's an interesting player, right? So he's a reliable right tackle when healthy. And again, he's dealt with a few injuries, but the fact that the Dolphins considered moving him before, I think this is a nice little pickup for the Raiders because, again, Colton Miller and also Brandon Parker, they struggled quite a bit last year. I mean, there's a reason why they gave up so many. Now, sure, I'll say Colton Miller was injured, but Brandon Parker still, I'm a little bit on the fence about him. Now, let's look at a tight end here, all right? We got, or let's go in now to my other offense tackle. My bad. Daryl Williams, okay? Daryl Williams is the player that I really want to concentrate here on. I think you could argue that he's the best offensive tackle in free agency. And, again, when you give up the fifth most sacks in the NFL, I think it's really hard to point the finger at Derek Carr. Maybe we need to start pointing the finger at the offensive line, and in particular, the rookies. Now, you insert Daryl Williams into that offensive line. Let's get back to being the best offensive line in football like we were before Tom Cable came. Can I get a fire, Tom Cable? Please. Oh, my Lord, it drives me nuts what that guy's doing to our offensive line. All right, tight ends. Let's go. Who doesn't like a good tight end? Tyler Eifert. All right. Tyler Eifert's one of these players that I think about a lot because when he's on the field, he is unbelievable. He is in a great red zone tight end. Here's the thing, though. The only way that I want them to go out and get Tyler Eifert is if Jared Cook slips through the cracks. Now, Jared Cook is my top player that I want the Raiders to re-sign. So, again, if he does not come back, Maybe they could look at a reliable pass catcher because they already have a blocking tight end. So, Tyler Eifert, he could be cheap, and if he's on the field, I think it'd be an absolute steal for the Raiders who, hey, they're going to Vegas? Why not roll the dice on Tyler Eifert? So, again, I got Le'Veon Bell, Tevin Coleman, Latavius Murray, two wide receivers and Tate and Williams. Then they're going to go now to John Brown, Daryl Williams, Jawan James, and Tyler Eifert. Here are my top free agent targets for the Raiders on offense. If you don't like it, too bad. They're mine. But anyway, I want to hear from you. Hit me up on IG or Twitter at MitchellRens365. All right, I got a question for you, Raider Nation. Who's your favorite player on the Raiders? Okay, I want to know from you. I want you to comment below who's your favorite player on the Raiders. You can tweet it at me. You can hit me up on IG. Let me know what you think. I want to know who your favorite player on the Raiders is because guess why? Thanks to Bet DSI, I'm going to hook you guys up with some free jerseys. And remember to use promo code Raiders120 for that 120% deposit bonus. Raider Nation, we did it. We got our own promo code. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. And when you sign up and deposit with Bet, with bet DSI, 
Put down 100, you're gonna get 120 dollars for free. Put down 50, you're gonna get 60 dollars for free. And remember how I said comment your favorite player on the team? Well, guess what? We may be able to hook you up with a free jersey. Sign up and deposit, and then DM me on Twitter at MitchellRen365. Show me that you deposited and signed up with BetDSI. I can get you Derek Carr and get you Bo Jackson. You want a Raiders jacket instead? I got you, Raider Nation. Chatsports.com slash bet. All right, let's go now to the defense because defense wins championships, right? So when you're ranked 32nd in the NFL in points per game, probably not going to win a Super Bowl. When you're ranked 26th in yards per game, probably not going to win a Super Bowl. And heck, not even going to make the playoffs. When I look at the biggest needs for the Raiders, it's defensive end, it's linebacker, safety, and cornerback. So players that I want them to target in free agency – are those around those four positions? If I could say my, probably my top target for the Raiders, if he hits free age, if he doesn't get re-signed by the, doesn't get franchise tagged. Oh, spill my words. Trey Flowers. Okay, absolutely love Trey Flowers, and he's only 25 years old, and they are in desperate need of a pass rusher. Okay, I'm looking at Trey Flowers. I'm really hoping that he can come to the Raiders because I think it would be a great fit with this defense. 57 tackles last year. Okay, but 20 QB hits and eight sacks. The Raiders had 13 sacks, and I know it stings to hear that, but you insert Trey Flowers into this defense next to Arden Key. Hey, I'm starting to really like that defensive end group. All right, next top player that I really want the Raiders to target, Frank Clark. Last three years, 32 sacks, 66 quarterback hits, okay? I want reliable. Frank Clark is no doubt a reliable player, and he's one of the top free agents at, again, at a very young age. 41 tackles last year, 27 quarterback hits. 13 sacks. He had as many sacks in 2018 as the Raiders did. Yeah, I know. It stings. But guess what? That's what we're going to have to deal with. Let's go out and spend some big money on Frank Clark. And let's go out and spend some big money on Trey Flowers. Who says no? This next option, this one is a fun one. And I like Chris Long. Okay, Chris Long is going to be 34 years old. And a lot of these players that I want the Raiders to re-sign or to go out and get in free agency are younger. Chris Long. Father, Howie Long. Maybe Chris Long at age 34 wants to ride off into the sunset into Oakland in 2019. Who says no? NFL Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Let's get let's get Chris Long. Maybe he'll even play for free like he did last year. Save the Raiders some money. I'm just saying, I absolutely love me some Chris Long. Because guess why? Great player, okay? Still plays at a pretty high level, even though he's an older age. And he can maybe teach some of these younger players how to get it done. But those are my top three defensive end targets. I want to know from you. Who should the Raiders re- Go out and sign in free agency. I want you to comment below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, I want to know from you, okay? And if you want to hit me up on IG or Twitter, at MitchellRen365. I want you to, like, guys, start putting me, like, on your stories. Tweet at me. I retweet all the time. I want to interact with you, okay? Hit me up, at MitchellRen365. Now we're going to go to the linebackers, okay? But a lot of these linebackers in today's NFL, they can probably also play defensive end. So my top guy is Jadavion Clowney, and I absolutely love Jadavion, and I've actually seen Jadavion be ranked as the number one free agent target in the NFL. And uh, I'm going to say he's my number two behind Demarcus Lawrence. But former first overall pick. And I think he would be a great fit in this Raiders defense. Here's the thing, though. I expect the Texans to franchise tag Clowney. Because, again, when you're this young, this talented, and a former first overall pick... I just think that they, they have to do it. Yes, I understand they already have a great defense, but you add a super talented player like Jadavion, if he can stay healthy, I'm telling you right now, special things to come for that Raiders defense. Trey Flowers, Frank Clark, Jadavion, Chris Long, pretty good names there. Now, my next player that I'm really starting to think is starting to be maybe like two Chucky heads that he's coming, Anthony Barr. And here's the thing. He might not have had the greatest year this past year for the Vikings, but again, that defense, that team in general, I just think something was wrong with that team. But he played as a pass rusher at UCLA, and I just personally don't think the Vikings used him the right way. Now, if he can be a defensive end, come over to the Raiders. I'm just saying, I like it a lot. Yes, he only had three sacks last year. Last, yes, he only had four QB hits. But I personally think the Vikings did not use him correctly. Come over to the silver and black Anthony Barr if you're watching. I would absolutely love that fit. Another linebacker, because guess what? The Raiders need middle linebacker help. Nothing against Jason Kabinda. He's not C.J. Mosley. And yes, C.J. Mosley didn't have any sacks last year, but he's going to be able to command the middle of that linebacking core for the Raiders. And if there's one thing I noticed, when you, Navarro Bowman, okay, again, not a player who really got after the quarterback, but he was the captain of the defense of the Raiders in 2017, and the Raiders desperately need leadership at the linebacking core. 105 tackles for C.J. Mosley, an absolute tackle monster. Tier Whitehead was the only player on the Raiders with over 100 tackles last year. We go out and get C.J. Mosley. 
absolutely loving that defense. Now we're going to go to Preston Smith here, another linebacker for the Redskins. And here's the thing, okay? I think he's going to get somewhere close to $11 million in his next contract, which sure is a lot of money. But when you're only 26 years old, again, you're going to see a common theme. I want younger players in silver and black. You insert Preston Smith, who's not going to maybe make as much as some of those other big-name linebackers, and all I'm saying is you add him into the team, I think we can start talking about you know a team that's just getting built a little bit better. Now I'm going to go to Dante Fowler, okay? I think he's personally a plan B option for the Raiders in free agency. I think they want to go and get a Frank Clark. They want to go and get a bigger-name player, maybe like an Anthony Barr, Jadavion Clowney, Trey Flowers. But maybe they're gonna take a, they're gonna roll the dice on Dante Fowler, okay? Because what I saw what he did with the Rams, much better than what I saw what he did with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So at a young age of 26, okay, like I get it. He has not lived up to the hype, and he may never live up to the hype. But if the Raiders can take a young defensive player who I still think has raw athletic ability and can turn him into a potential, I don't know, above average defensive end. Linebacker, I think at the end of the day, he can play all these different positions. That's going to help the Raiders. Now, if you're just joining us, here's some more of my players here. Preston Smith, Fowler, Anthony Barr, C.J. Mosley, some players that I want the Raiders to target in free agency. A player that I think is a little bit of a sleeper, Shaquille Barrett. And I just think when you have other great linebackers and other great defensive players, you kind of get swept under the rug. And Shaquille's obviously not going to be a Von Miller. He's not going to be, you know, some of these other big-name players that the Broncos have had. But again, he could just be a cheaper flyer for the Raiders who, let's be honest, if they don't want to spend a lot of money at the linebacker position because Paul Gunther has come out and said that he thinks linebacker is in a super important position on defense, maybe they go cheap with Shaquille Barrett. All right, so those are some six linebackers that I gave you, but the show isn't about me. It's about y'all. Which linebacker should the Raiders sign in free agency? I want you to comment below. If you don't like my list, if you want to put your own list together, hit me up on IG or Twitter at MitchellRand365. Throw them in the comment section. If you guys think that I look good today, it's because I'm missing a main. Go to comfortable.af to see for yourself. You can wear these shirts to work, like me. You can wear them to bed, like me. Heck, you can wear them to the gym, like me. I've actually done it before. Go to Mizzen and Maine, comfortable.af to see for yourself, because they are, I'm telling you, the best damn dress shirt you'll ever buy. Alright, let's get in now to the safeties. Landon Collins. And I absolutely love Landon Collins, and sure, he had seven interceptions from 2016 to 2017. I just think he's one of those better players. Third in defensive player of the year voting in 2017. The Giants, they just didn't get it done. And I think that they will ultimately tag Landon Collins. But if for some reason they let him slip through the cracks, the Raiders should be absolutely all over him. I mean, because we're talking about Marcus Gilchrist, free agent. We're talking about Eric Harris, free agent. I think they're going to bring him back. But again, Reggie Nelson, free agent. Safety is a huge need for the Oakland Raiders. And Landon Collins, if he somehow hits the open market, you better be all over him. Another player that I think is really interesting in silver and black, the Honey Badger. I mean, come on. This would be absolutely sick. So I think you're going to look at injury history. You're going to look at a few other things here for the Raiders. But at the end of the day, I still think he's one of the best safeties in the NFL. I and mean, when you're in a division that has Patrick Mahomes, Phillip Rivers, guess what? You need to be able to have an elite safety because the Raiders got burned way, way, way too often last season. Maybe the biggest name on this list from a safety perspective is Earl Thomas. And I originally gave Earl Thomas to the Raiders about one Chucky head. But here's the thing, okay? I get the, the fractured leg. He wants to get paid. And at the end of the day, he wants to make the money. And if the Raiders want to actually give him the money, there's a real chance that he could come here. Now, he may take a pay cut to go to the Cowboys because, from what it sounds like, he wants to be a Cowboy. But he had four interception, or three interceptions in four games. Just saying. I think that's, uh, that's pretty good for me. I still think Errol Thomas, even though he's getting up there in age, is still one of those better players. Landon Collins, Tyron Matthew, Earl Thomas, Shaquille Barrett, all targets for the Oakland Raiders there. All right, I got th two more safeties, and then I'm going to get into some two more cornerbacks, okay? Next safety coming up here. Haha, -ha, and I can't say Clinton, you know what, on the air. Sorry, Bill. Free agent in 2019 at age 26, and I liked what I saw at Haha -ha with the Green Bay Packers. He just was not a good fit with the Washington Redskins, and I think the fact that he struggled with Washington could actually make him a cheaper option for the Raiders at the end of the season. LaMarcus Joyner. LaMarcus Joyner is no way that the Rams can afford every single player on that defense. So, LaMarcus Joyner going to be a free agent. He had a pretty good season this past year, and here's the thing. I think, again, another player who's got high upside, he could probably basically help the lineup anywhere he's going to go. He could play free safety. 
I like LaMarcus Joyner there. So I gave you guys my safeties, all right? It's Ha Ha Clinton Dix, LaMarcus Joyner, Earl Thomas, Landon Collins, and the Honey Badger. But which safety should the Raiders sign in free agency? I want to know from you. I want you to comment below. And if you don't like any of those options, hit me up on IG or Twitter. Give me some better options so I can help you guys all out. All right, two more cornerbacks, and then I'm going to wrap this thing up on defense. First quarterback I want to talk about, Ronald Darby. And I'm really starting to like Ronald Darby and the idea of him coming to the Raiders. So, tore his ACL in 2018, which I think actually might lower his value. And since 2015, Darby leads the NFL in pass breakups, according to Pro Football Focus. And again, I don't know if Ronald Darby is going to be, let's say, next to Gary on Conley, but he could at least be a pretty solid slot corner, which I think is a really underrated role in today's NFL. My next cornerback, who I think is one of the most underrated corners in the free agent market, Bryce Callahan. Top 10 quarterback, according to Pro Football Focus, last year, and let's be real, cornerback is a serious need for the Raiders. Could be a cheaper option, considering some of the other players out there, like a Ronald Darby. I'll tell you what, you're going to give me just based on price, Bryce Callahan or Ronald Darby? Guess what? I want to know from you, who's the better cornerback for the Raiders right now, okay, in free agency? If it's Ronald Darby, I want you to type D for Darby. If it's Callahan, I want you to type C for Callahan. Better cornerback for the Raiders and free agency, D for Darby or C for Callahan. I want to know from everybody watching YouTube, Facebook, it literally doesn't matter. If you're just joining us, let's do a nice little quick recap of all my top free agent targets for the Raiders. Le'Veon Bell, Tevin Coleman, Latavius Murray, Golden Tate, Tyrell Williams, and then I got a few more for you here coming up on offense. John Brown, Daryl Williams. Jawan James, Tyler Eifert, that rounds out the offense. My top nine free agents for the Raiders. Now let's head on into that defense. I got 16 players for you. Trey Flowers, Frank Clark, Chris Long, Howie Long, what up? Davion Clowney. Now we're going to get on into some other guys coming up here. I got Anthony Barr, C.J. Mosley, Preston Smith, Dante Fowler. All linebackers, but I would like Barr and Fowler. Just saying, they could actually be probably defensive ends. Shaquille Barrett. I think he's just kind of getting swept under the rug a little bit there. Maybe it's because he's a Bronco. Who knows? Landon Collins, if he hits free agency, we got to be all over him. The Honey Badger. Earl Thomas, E.T., phone home. I'm about it. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix. Absolutely love it. Rock solid player there. LaMarcus Joyner, Ronald Darby, Bryce Callahan. That's going to round out my top free agent targets for the Raiders in 2019. Hit me up on IG or Twitter, at MitchellRens365. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Raiders live. Oh, wait. I'll be live tomorrow for the Raiders at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So until then, I'll see you. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.